This is a graph of the GDP, that's the gross domestic product, the output, the economic power of the United States. And it starts in 1950 and it goes up till today. You'll see it's has declined continuously, basically since 1950. It has a series of crises which correspond to well-known events. I'll give you one example. You look at 1974, there was a big crash. Growth went down from 6% to 2% and stayed between 2% and 3% for, for a long time. And there was a big economic slump in 1974. It was very famous at the time. It was the first occasion on which there had been a slump of something like the scale of 1929 in the West. Then it recovered. How did it recover? Well, it launched a full-on attack on the rest of the world by the policies that we know as neoliberalism. It shot up interest rates. It drove many countries that had been developing quite well, such as you know the countries of Latin America, countries many African countries, drove them into debt and used debt to impose on them policies that basically meant they would become exporters of primary goods, exporters of products of cheap labor, and that the West would maintain its technical dominance. And that was very effective. It increased US power growth back up to 4.6%. But look what happened. It crashed right down again to an even lower level before. Next, we get you know the overthrow of the Soviet Union. Big gain, big temporary leap forward, crashing the, the Soviet economy, which is the true cause of the rise of Putin because you know it was a terrible thing for the for the Russian economy as as one of the main architects Jeffrey Sachs now admits well immediately after that it falls again and then there's the um, this is the this is what happens after the the asian financial crisis when what the us basically did is it got out of a big financial mess by trying to get the uh, japanese and koreans to pay for it uh, which they did in the so-called reverse plaza accords. Then you have 2008, and it's crashed to a level of something like 0%. And it went up for a bit. And every time it goes up, you get the journalists saying, you know, we're on the recovery road, we're back on the march. But if you look at the way that they describe the figures, the figures don't support the theory. Because the period in which it was supposed to have been doing wonderfully, it was actually expanding at a rate of 2.5%. This is the lowest peak. If you look, if you look at the tops of all these things, they keep going down. So this is the lowest peak in post-war history. So the United States is in historically a very bad position economically. And that's what's driving what it does. 